This is part 44 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss how to use JavaScript and detect which mouse button is clicked. Depending on the browser, event.button or event.which properties of the event object are used to determine which mouse button is clicked. IE8 and earlier versions support event.button property. Event.button property returns 1 for left, 4 for middle, and 2 for right mouse click ie9 and later versions and most other w3c compliant browsers support event.which property event.which property returns one for left two for middle and three for right mouse click now let's write a simple program we want to design a page with two button controls and one text area element now depending on which property of the event object the browser supports when I perform a left click on this click me button then if the browser supports which property of the event object then we want to see the code that is returned for that left click if we perform a middle click then we want to look at the code returned and similarly for right click if the browser supports event.button property then we want to see the codes that are returned for left middle and right mouse click so let's see how to achieve this so first we need two button controls input type equals button value equals click me similarly we need another button and the text on this is going to be clear and let's include two HTML break elements and then a text area element let's give it an ID txt area columns equals 3 rows equals 20 and now let's write a simple function which is going to get us the mouse click code so let's call this get mouse click code and to this function let's pass the event object if the event object supports which property then in that case we want to get the text area element and set its value to actually we are using plus equals here because we want to append to what is already there in the text area element so value equals event dot which this string and whatever event dot which property returns and then to this let's append a new line character backslash r and backslash n now if the browser does not support event dot which property in that case we know that it is going to support event dot button property and in that case let's go ahead and display whatever the button property displays okay so we have got a pretty simple function here so let's call this function when mouse up event occurs on click me button now when we click this clear button we want to clear the contents uh, of text area element so let's write a simple function here function let's call this clear text and when this function is called we want to set the value of text area element to an empty string and we want to call this function on click of this clear button all right now we need to do one more thing now when we perform a right click on click me button we want to prevent the context menu from appearing we discussed how to do that in detail in our previous video session so let's quickly write that function to disable the context menu from appearing so let's call this prevent context menu and again to this function we need to pass the event object so the event object is equal to the event object itself or 
window dot event if the browser supports prevent default method then let's use that method else let's set return value of the event object to false and then now let's associate this function with context menu event of the document object all right so pretty straightforward javascript code here so let's go ahead and run this at the moment i'm using google chrome browser and google chrome browser supports event dot which property now let's see the codes written for left middle and right mouse click and look at this text area that's because we have set columns to 3 and rows to 20 it's actually the other way around columns to 20 and rows to 3 so let's reload this page alright now I'm going to perform a left click Notice that event.which property returns 1 for left click. Now let's perform middle click, it returns 2. And for right click, it returns 3. Now let's clear that and let's run the same page with Internet Explorer. So let's browse with Internet Explorer. And on my machine, I have Internet Explorer 11. So this is going to behave the same way as Google Chrome. It supports event.which property. So for left click, it's going to return 1, for middle 2, and for right 3. Now let's change the mode using developer tools to IE8. And now let's perform a left click. Look at that. It supports IE8 and earlier versions. They support event.button property. Notice that we get 1 for left click, for middle 4, and for right 2. So with this information, now let's write a JavaScript function which is going to tell us which mouse button is clicked. And this JavaScript function should work in all versions of Internet Explorer and in most W3C compliant browsers, if not all. So let's write a JavaScript function for that. We need one button control, so let's leave it there. Let's get rid of the other button control and the text area element. And we don't need this clear text and get mouse click code functions, so let's delete them. Now let's write a function. Let's call this which mouse button clicked. And again, to this function, we need to pass the event object. Let's create a variable. Let's call this which button. If the browser supports event.which property, then we are going to switch on event.which property. And we know that this property is going to return an integer value. So case 1 we know that if which property returns 1 then left button is clicked so we are going to initialize this which button variable with this string left button clicked and let's break similarly for case 2 and case 3 as well so if it is case 2 then we know it is middle button if it is 3 then we know it is right button and default if it is any other thing then let's just display this message invalid button clicked alright so if the browser supports even dot which property that's what we want to do else we are going to switch on event dot button property so in that case let's copy this code and paste it right here so event dot button property is going to return one for left and four for middle and two for right 
and if it's any other value then we're going to display this message invalid button click and then once that is done let's alert whatever value we have in this variable which button and we want to call this function when mouse up event occurs on click me button all right so we already have the prevent context menu function which is going to prevent the context menu from appearing when we perform a right click so with these changes let's go ahead and run this so at the moment it's Google Chrome so when I perform a left click notice that it says left button clicked now let's perform a middle click so middle button clicked and now let's perform a right click so right button clicked and it's going to work with IE8 as well so let's quickly test that with IE8 so browse with Internet Explorer and let's change the mode of the browser to IE8 so left click middle click and let's perform a right click all right so this is the same code that we just discussed thank you for listening and have a great day